All right. It is 6.45 a.m. February 8th, 2024. I'm back. We're going to go with the second part of the uh, potential class rework stuff. So this is a continuation of the thing I started with the infiltrator video I did uh, a few weeks back. And I got to be honest, it I really sh struggled uh, with this one. And that's probably the reason why it took me so long to get here and actually sit down and do this video. Because I've been thinking a lot about uh, light assault. And I've been thinking a lot about the things that people complain about with light assault and stuff they want done to the class. Now, uh, like I mentioned, and this is the disclaimer that I'm putting out for all of these videos that I do is that in no way, shape or form, do I expect any reasonable or logical decisions to be made by the developers of the game when it comes to changing or adapting the way classes work in this game uh i'm at a point where you got to show me okay you got to show me i i don't really care if you say you're going to do class overhauls or anything uh whatever it doesn't mean shit to me so you got to show me uh these this little series that i'm doing is just some people have have asked in comments for a while uh for me to do this on each individual class pretty much and that's what i'm doing and that's the first one was the infiltrator class thing i did and a lot of good comments on that uh part of what i'm starting to do this year is i'm not hashing it out in the comments with shitters anymore so if you're just mad about the way i approach or talk about certain topics or individual play styles if all your entire comment is is that you're upset and mad at me for some fucking reason first of all no one gives a shit uh, i don't care none of the other viewers care uh, we don't care uh and second i'm just not gonna entertain it anymore because quite frankly uh, i've spent a long time doing this and i'm just exhausted from debating and conversating and or conversing or, or hashing it out. I'm a, I'm exhausted from hashing it out with fucking awful shitters in comments, on Reddit, on in Twitch chats. So I'm just not going to do it anymore. And 2024 is the year where I'm normalizing ignoring shitters. So if you're just a butthurt shitter who comes to the, the channel and watches these videos... Uh, and wants to leave a, a shitty, nasty comment uh, saying you don't like me or whatever. Uh, cool, congratulations, thanks for the views, but I'm just... All y'all are just going to get shadow banned and removed from the channel. Uh, so, yeah, suck my cock. Anyway, with all that out of the way, let's actually talk about the class. All right. Like I said, I struggled really hard with this one. Uh, Light Assault holds kind of a special place for me because when I was first starting to play the game and for the first, like, year and a half... Uh, to two years of playing the game, I really played this class a lot. It was probably my main class for the first year and a half to two years of the game. Uh, I had a lot of awesome battles and duels with with some of the better LAs that were on uh, Matherson back in the day. And that's how I ended up coming up and like meeting a lot of people and getting introduced to better players and good players in general. Um, this class is potentially one of the highest if not the highest skill ceiling class in the game, uh, with a positional ability that the average to below average players massively underrate. Now, if you're confused as to... If, if you automatically get confused with me saying that it's one of the highest skill ceiling classes, if not the highest skill ceiling class in the game, if that confuses you, then you're probably a shitter. Uh, like most Planetside players, they're really awful at positioning and don't even understand that whole part of the game. Uh, but the light assault, having a jetpack and having the mobility that you can have is so, is so fucking powerful. And it's not it's not that the class is specifically designed to because because one thing I see a lot when I when I watch shitters talk about light assault is they complain that the class is very it's it's an anti-vehicle class and that it's it doesn't really add much to the game or it doesn't add much to their ability to play the game um and this is one of the things one of the things i've i've mentioned before a lot of average to below average players or bad players in games with classes derive probably 
about 90% of their ability to play the game from whatever the class gives them. Uh, and you see that in this game, too. Now, if you're actually an above-average player or a really good player, what individual trait the class gives you is just something that modifies your innate talent and ability. So, like, when, when a good player plays Light Assault, if it's a good player who knows how to position and can shoot really well and has pretty good game sense, playing Light Assault, that last 10%, 90% of that guy's ability is coming from his innate ability to play FPS shooters and stuff like that. The, with the things that I mentioned, his positioning ability, aiming, aiming ability. But that last 10% is what he derives from whatever class he's playing. So in this case, it's that extra freedom of mobility. And you see this in, in any game... Uh, 2042 comes to mind because uh, there's a character with a grapple hook in that game, and and it's it, a verticality in that game is de depending on the map design, which a lot of the map design is terrible. Verticality in that game is fucking huge. It's critical. Uh, it's critical in Planet Side too, in a lot of cases. But now there are some places where light assault is not as relevant, but in the comparison to 2042. Uh, like the the character that has the grapple hook is is called McKay, uh, and one thing you will never see you will basically never see shitters play McKay, because a shitter can't use a character like that because you kind of have to think you have to be able to think on a whole nother dimension of gameplay and what's going on and light assault is similar in a lot of the same ways, um. There's no light assault allows you to play with a certain creativity that you can't necessarily get anywhere else. And in for that reason, I think the class is one of the most skill expressive classes possible uh in the game. And I think that's a good thing. Uh yeah, it's still really fun to play and I still really have fun when I do play it. Uh, because there are situations where, you know, you can't, I can't just play heavy here. Like, it, it just makes more sense for me to go play Light Assault and, and do what I need to do. Because uh, I know people bring up that, that some people try to bring up the fact that because a heavy can wall jump, it's basically the same thing. Or that it evens out with someone who has a jetpack. And you are so fucking deluded and, and wrong that it I can't even begin to explain how dumb you are. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, giving a jetpack to a shitter doesn't make that player relevant. Now, relevance, making shitters relevant is something that the infiltrator class does uh, extremely well because of the recon tools. You place a recon tool down, and now you have game sense uh, from pressing one button, and you have given some game sense to a whole bunch of people around you. That's and cloak makes you invisible. Giving a jetpack to a shitter doesn't make them positionally relevant. Uh, they can get places, but they might not necessarily know how to move to get there. They might not know the correct places to be when they need to be in those places. Uh, and they also aren't invisible when they do it. And theoretically, their jetpack makes a sound. Now, <laughs> we can get into that with the audio engine being completely fucked and broken and jetpack sounds just not playing at all. Uh, but that's a topic for another video. Uh, totally. So, yeah, giving a jetpack to a shitter does not at all make him relevant and not in the same way. Uh... There's a lot of awful, awful players who play Light Assault who have no idea what to do with the class. They just jet to the most... A lot of them... Shit, I've seen a lot of LA players just run around in, in buildings. Like, <laughs> like they almost never use their jetpack. Uh, but yeah, it, it's not even remotely close to the same way the Cloak and the Recon tools make the Infiltrator relevant. Which is why... Infiltrator is such a bigger problem in general because Infiltrator makes even the worst players relevant in a way that the jetpack on the Light Assault doesn't really make awful players relevant. Uh, so the big, big, huge topic of contention, I think, with this class mostly that I think most people hate and want removed is the hip fire while jetting. Uh, 
And this is something that I really struggled with. Um, I had to go back and remember to when, or, or try to go back and remember to when it didn't have that ability. Now, I don't know, a lot of you may not have played back then, uh, but I am fortunate to have played when you couldn't hip fire or you didn't you didn't maintain hip fire cone of fire while jetting. I also played at a time in the game where it was a lot of uh, a lot more decision making when it came. Without the hip fire while jetting thing, a lot of it was position, take your gunfight, position, take your gunfight, position, take your gunfight. And it was a lot more decision making, uh, a lot more fight or flight decision making. Uh, maybe the skill gap was higher there because of the decision making that you had to do and do with it. Uh, but at some point when hipfire jetting came into the game, it's just like, okay, we're taking out all the decision making that the player has to do. Now you can just do everything at once. So in that sense, I think the game was dumbed down a little bit. Uh, and another thing that I need to bring up here is I think there's an overall emphasis or ease of use for hip fire that's just way too prevalent in this game. Now, this isn't... I don't necessarily think that is a light assault hip fire while jetting problem because if the hip fire was just worse, I don't think it would be as bad or it wouldn't be as noticeable as people make it out to be. And maybe they wouldn't hate it that much. But, but carbines... I think this gets more into a thing of it's this is way more of a carbine problem, I think. Uh yeah. Honestly, I think that carbine hip fire should just be worse in general. Uh short barrel needs to have an actual downside. Uh there's no real opportunity cost to changing out a foregrip for a laser or short barrel builds on a lot of these carbines, and I think if it were me, I, I think the hip fire while jetting thing is way more of a problem for people. Because honestly, if if imagine a world where light assaults had light machine guns. Just just do this thought experiment, right? Now take the hip fire values for LMGs and then put it on somebody who's hip fire jetting. Cause I, I still think they get I think they get walking hip fire while jetting. I, I could be wrong, and it's probably something I should actually look up, but I don't have the thing open in front of me. But I think they get walking hip fire spread uh, while jetting. I could be I could be wrong, but I think that's what they get. Now imagine imagine LA flying at you jetting while trying to hip fire an LMG compared to a, a, a carbine, or God forbid if they had ARs. Yeah, I think I think carbines uh, I think hip fire in general is is too good in the game, and the the stuff that does hip fire really good, uh, it's it it's probably a little too good. Now I'm someone who ADSs probably ninety five percent of my kills. I always have been historically that way. Uh, so the the hip fire and the stuff that you can get away with hip firing in this game has always kind of annoyed me a little bit, but. It hasn't really affected me that much, but just remember that when you think about hip fire, I always go back to the commissioner and I always look at the individual weapons like that. I'm like, this guy's playing for hip fire headshots at 30 meters with a pistol. And then I play with some of these carbines that are supposed to be, you know, like the G for me, the GD7F has always had its hit rate has been way too fucking high. That gun's way too accurate for what it is. A any of these eight these 800 plus rate of fire carbines that, that just there's really no downside to putting running lasers on them or even short barrel short barrel is just it just with if you run short barrel laser you should not be able to be accurate at ads at like 30 to 40 meters at all um those are those are called like opportunity costs and because rel spent all of his time trying to buff shitters. What do shitters love to do more than anything? Shitters are really bad at ADSing, and shitters are really bad at uh, doing anything that isn't hip firing. So over time, I think you saw a, a greater emphasis on letting shitters hip fire more and more, and I think this class is part of that. So uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying hip fire 
you should never hip fire. I'm just saying that the hip fire in this game is way too prevalent and it's way too easy. And the the attachment stuff, yeah. I don't think this is really a light assault problem. I think the weapons are probably overtuned uh, for hip fire because yeah, shitters. Shit, you you have to dumb the game down so shitters don't have to. Like, for whatever reason, holding the right mouse button and aiming, like, completely breaks a shitter's brain. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get off that point. Uh, in another sense, I think... Uh, I think the hip fire while jetting really opens up the class and lets you do more. So, a a as, a as a better player for the game, as a better player... Like, I can play both. But at being a good player in the game, having the moving cone of fire while jetting is just more fun for me. Uh, and, and when I'm doing these, I'm thinking, would I still have fun playing the class? Now, I had fun playing the class when it didn't have hip fire jetting. Uh, but honestly, hip fire jetting is just objectively better. So I probably end up leaving it in the game. And I think people's frustrations come more from the hip fire in the game is too accurate honestly uh i think there should be a greater emphasis on ads so sorry guys i know i know people are going to be extremely mad that that i just don't gut the entire class but a lot of you guys are fucking mongoloid morons and you can't just go into the class and rip everything out of it that that makes it even remotely enjoyable to play. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that. There has to be some kind of nuance here. Uh, and a lot of you guys are completely incapable of doing that. Some jetpacks in and of its themselves, I, you know, some jetpacks are problematic. Uh, the Ambusher and Drifter just don't play nice with the game's interpolation. And the movement speed that you get from those on top of that is just kind of silly. Uh, I would remove Ambusher and Drifter. I just get rid of those. So you have Skirmisher and Icarus. Icarus, I'm slightly less down on for the health of the game, but in in a real world, the the default jetpack I think would be the only ones in the game. But I'm I guess I'm okay with Icarus. I don't know. I could have my mind changed on that. Uh, I think this goes without saying, but shotguns just shouldn't be accessible on light assault. Uh, I feel that way about heavy too. Uh, the entire strength and weakness of the shotgun in this game is just goes away when you put it on a class that can completely ignore the positional requirements that the weapon has. Uh, this is further exacerbated by the ambusher, but I would get rid of ambusher and I would just take shotguns off of LA completely and you just don't have access to that weapon uh moving on uh the rocket rifle man when the rocket rifle came out I was a little confused as to why this class needed another because it always seemed to me back when before it had the rocket rifle that it was a really good anti-vehicle class um with uh, just the ability to fucking jet around and have C4, the verticality and positional ability with C4 is really fucking good. Uh, and look, man, if you want, if you want to do ranged AV, uh, pull heavier engineer. So, yeah, the rocket rifle. It was just another way to add burst damage to a class that because. Really, what's the main complaint here is that the the one everybody knows has been in this situation where the guy, the guy redeploys to a fight. It's some shitter. He he goes at the fight you're at. He can't kill you, so he just gives up trying to play the game and kill you or or find a way to kill you. And he what's he do? He has to kill the Sunderer. Or there's for the LA directives. There's. All these directives that involve killing Sunders just need to go in general. That's not necessarily an LA thing, but uh, it's just cancer. Uh, it it emphasizes killing spawns in a time when this has always been a problem, but with the populations the way they are now on specific servers, it's just like will that will that change player behavior? I don't know. At this point, I don't know. But Rocket Rifle has always been something I don't think. I never thought the LA needed this at all. Uh, 
as a player playing the class, it's nice to have to to peck at vehicles and do it, but it doesn't do that much damage. And trust me, I'm all for annoying the fuck out of shitty vehicle players. Uh, but I think I think LA can do without the rocket rifle, if I'm honest. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of if there's anything else I want to cover with this class. I've kind of hit all the major points I wanted to. Uh, yeah, really fun class to play. Really high skill ceiling. Uh, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit in terms of. You know, it can't have it should not have shotguns. The jetpacks that throw you across the screen, the impulse grenades, I'm sorry, they probably need to go to. Uh just getting removing all this stupid shit that adds like fast movement speed to this game just doesn't play nice with the game. The hip fire while jetting thing, a lot of you guys are gonna be butthurt and mad that I just don't rip it out of the game, but unfortunately at the end of the day, I I'm okay with it being in the game, having played both versions of the class, having it without it and having with it, I'd much rather play with it. And I think you can do some balancing around how prevalent and good uh, hip fire builds are uh, on carbines and SMGs in general. So I think that's a better way to do it instead of just ripping all the fun playability out of the class. So yeah, uh, that's it for this one. Next up, I'm going to be talking about the medic. Uh, the medic. I'm going to have a lot to say about the medic because I think the medic class in general is one of the biggest cancer tumors uh, and and creates so many fucking problems for this game in general. Uh, yeah. That should be a fun one. Uh, so, yeah, I struggled really hard. It took me a long time to figure out what I wanted to do with Light Assault because uh, to sit down and do some critical thinking on this stuff it's really easy to just get mad and post in the comments about how you want everything gutted from the game. I get it, but uh, I'm tr actually trying to do a, a better job of thinking through the class in general. So, yeah, uh, stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to be doing the medic. Uh, hopefully the break in between these videos won't be as long uh, because my thoughts are are pretty... Like I said, I struggled with the light assault here and changed my mind and flipped back and forth on this a bunch of times. But the medic, I have a very, very concrete plan and idea for what I want to do with that class. Uh, so, yeah, maybe I will. that'll be out in a couple days, maybe a week or so. We'll see. But thanks again, guys, for all of your support. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.